What's up guys, welcome back. Today's video we're going to focus on finishing the head. It's been an extremely time consuming job, porting the head, uh, polishing the combustion chambers, getting that all that sorted out. Um, I did not think it was going to take nearly as long as it has. Uh, I've been working on it off and on for like the last year, year and a half, and it's just super tedious and I get burned out on it very easily. So hopefully this video we can get that finished up, get the head assembled, and get it onto the short block, get the long block on the transmission, and get it back in the car. Be a major milestone moving forward with the car. So once that's in, we can finish the exhaust and the turbo manifold, build the radiator support, mount the intercooler and radiator, the boost tubes, basically the whole front end is gonna de depend on the motor and transmission being in the car. So hopefully we can get that sorted and uh, let's get started. So this is where I'm at right now with the head. You can see I've already cleaned up the casting marks in the combustion chambers on some of these. And I still have a ways to go on a couple cylinders. The reason why I'm doing this is it's getting rid of any high spots, which will be uh, a hot spot, which will cause detonation. And uh, porting open the exhaust cylinders here, you can see moving this way, it's just getting less and less done. Um, this one's pretty much done. This one also. Uh, these can use a little bit more, and these are still just basically rough. Uh, roughed in with 80 grit. Um, I want to show you the difference in the sizing. So this is an old stock exhaust valve and a stock head. You can see it's pretty close to the size of the port. Now we take this same valve on the ported head and just see how massive these ports are now, they're gonna flow a lot in the upper RPM. And most of this, all right, this car will spend most of its time between, you know, four or five and 8,000 RPM. So the added flow is gonna be needed up there. I got cams, uh, Shrick 272, 272 to help it breathe. Hopefully it'll make power up to 8,000 RPM, but we won't really know until we get it running. Also, this car will not be a daily driver by any means whatsoever. It's strictly a toy. It's gonna get beat on. I'm a little nervous for the body work, but hey, it is what it is. If this shit happens, I know a guy that can fix it. Um, I don't know a lot about engine porting. Um, just kind of trial and error and see what happens. So I know going too big is bad. If I do go too big, I have two more heads that I can play with at a later date. But if I lose low end and gain a shit ton of top end, I'm not worried about it. Like I said, I'm not gonna be going stoplight to stoplight very much. So this car's just gonna live in the upper half of the RPM. So I don't foresee there being that much issue with what I'm doing, but again, I'm no expert, I don't really know. So for all I know, it could run like absolute shit and I'll just put a stock head on it and call it a day. With this car, I'm trying to do everything on my own. Uh, if I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just learning as I go. Uh, the last car, uh, the white R32 I had, I had a lot of negative experiences with shops. So I just wanna get away from all of that and do everything on my own. Uh, that way there's only one person I can be upset with and that's myself and I can't really be upset because I'm learning in the process and that's the whole goal here is to learn by trial and error that way I know what's going to happen and what's going on and moving forward I know what not to do because it didn't work or what to continue doing in the future because it worked great. Everything I've done so far I've done by hand. And like I mentioned earlier, it's just been super, super time consuming. So I woke up this morning, first thing I did is went to Home Depot, picked up myself a Dremel, and this little kit here with some sanding mandrels, and what I really wanted was uh, this polishing set here, so I can get in there and get that combustion chamber sh shined up. Uh, but it's kind of amazing that I've been doing this for so long and I've never bought a Dremel until now.
All right, so it's about three and a half hours later. Um, I got the combustion chambers to a point that I'm happy with. And like I said, it's super, super time consuming. I didn't want you to just sit and watch me do the same thing for three hours. So went ahead, didn't record it. These are the exhaust ports. And the smoother the finish is on these, the less carbon will want to stick to it. So there's no easy way to do this uh, other than just sanding by hand. It's very tedious and I haven't fingered something this long since high school. So after eight hours, the head is finally done. We got the combustion chambers all polished and the exhaust ports all finished up. We really just had two left to do, but it took that long to get it done. With the head done, we can now focus on getting the valves cleaned up. You can see that I got most of them done already because again, it's another time consuming process. And I've got about three and a half hours into getting about three quarters of the way done. So you can see we have six left intake valves left to do. So let's go ahead and get that done. So I'm cleaning these. So I just take a valve, chuck it in a normal drill. You can see this one isn't too bad. I got a bucket of water and some dish soap with some 600 grit sandpaper. And uh, let the drill do the work. finish to it and uh, let's do the same process for all the remaining valves. Now that the valve train is all clean, the next step is to start lapping the valves to the head so they have a good seal. I have them all numbered with corresponding numbers to the head, so I make sure they, get, they go back in the same place. I've already done this whole bank, so all that's left are these 12 valves here. I'll start with a, a heavy compound because I may have got a little sloppy with uh, sandpaper I was pouring in the head, so just to get a good cut and make sure that they're going to seal nice.
not sure if you can see this, but what I'm looking for is a nice even, even uh, abrasion line all the way around the valve and all the way around the seat. Good. So we'll just go to the fine compound.
All right, we've got the combustion chambers polished. We've got the exhaust ports ported. We've got the valve train all clean and the valves lapped to the head. So now before we can assemble, the head needs to go off and get cleaned. So that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it.